Sorry, I'm ready, I'm ready now. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right, yeah. I wanted the, the, uh, the old record button, innit? You know Thanks I mean? for coming in, Ronnie. Good Thanks to see you, mate. Yeah. When, I can't think the, the, the first time, this, oh, I think the first time I met you was down the skate park. About three years ago, wasn't it? It would be about three years ago, yeah. And that was for King of Skate Parks. King of Skate Park, and then uh, that band's a bit. Because I never, I, was the King of Skate Parks was the first though, wasn't it? And then the band's so. event that same yeah. summer. Because I don't think I ever met you before, because I think our paths, our generation was just, you know, I'm, I'm sort of, what, how old are you? I'm 34. Yeah, I'm 40. <coughs> Sophia, <laughs> don't, beep, laugh. Look at her laughing over there off camera. You laughing at? So when, because yeah. because of my age. <laughs> so yeah, so I, yeah. I think that our generation we just missed each other down the skate park, didn't we? We would have been because I, I started. Well, I first got bike about ninety four, mm. something like that. So that's the first time. So I when I so is that when you started ninety four? Ninety yeah ninety four. Yeah. I'd say it's the first time I kind of ever went went over there. Yeah. And so see. when so in ninety four when you went down there. What boys would I, you know, when you start down a skate park, who was riding down there still? Um, you know, Dennis. Ephraim? Ephraim. Yeah. Dennis Wingham. Yeah. See, Dennis did, Dennis started, yep. I think, after I sort of retired. Okay. So I, I sort of finished 1987. Right, okay. So, so, but Dennis is, he must have started quite late. Was, was, was he from Pompey? He is from Pompey. Yeah, he yeah. is. I, I'm not too sure when he started. I, I know though he was doing he was doing flips when I yeah. first started. Yeah. Because he was like the wild man. You think, yeah. oh, here we go. Let's yeah. have some of this. It got exciting when it was a contest. Yeah. You I, thought, I, I, I mean, remember the yeah. uh, the wild man when we were a kid down there was a guy called Eric Steele. Okay. Do you remember Eric Steele? He's on my he's on my okay. Facebook, and he he sort of used to go down the the bowl and jump out the bowl, yeah. out the bowl. Oh, have I you ever seen anyone do that before? He used to jump out the bowl before the platform was at the back. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. He used to literally just jump out the back of it. Oh, and it's a flat. Onto the flat. Yeah, we'll leave that to him. <laughs> Even now. <laughs> I said, that's a big drop. That's a big that drop. Big. Well, I used to. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, it was a nut because it, he always used to crash. He yeah. used to have very serious accidents all the time. So I'm surprised. He's, he must be coming up to 50 uh, himself now. So. Well, I'm surprised mm. he's got to 50 after that. Jesus Christ. Christ. I'd have someone catch me, I'm gonna... Yeah. So, e so when you started, Ephraim was e Ephraim world champion at Skate Park? He would have been world champion, yeah. yeah. 90, 92, 93, yeah. I think he was world champion. Yeah. So then, he, he was someone you sort of looked up to. But I mean, because yeah. we're from London, so yeah. me and my brother, we'd only ever go down on holidays. Mm. So you, you'd only ever see little bits yeah. of everyone. Was, um, was Carlo still riding? Carlo. Car he must have, you know, so... He may or have been, but he must have been at the end of yeah. going over there. Or maybe I was just too young hmm. to know any of them them yeah. guys. So Carlo, so, was Carlo? Carlo must be 46. 46, I think. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, but then I met Carlo through <laughs> Peter Hawkins, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it'd been through Pete. So because so Pete, yeah. did Pete run the skate park at one one Pete point? was the manager. Yeah. He did a good job actually. Well, yeah. so he, everything over there was yeah. in good shape. So that was cool. yeah. So I met so, a lot of people through Pete really. So when you when you start who was when you when you were down skate, who was your inspiration? Who who was the best? Yeah, was, was the half pipe down, the big half pipe wasn't there, was it? It was. The, it was a big it was a big red one. Who who so, who was sort of the best down there when you started? Right, there was Ronnie Remo. Mike O'Connell, if you know Mike O'Connell, uh, he he was like real technical, um, but he'd, he'd go to the states and stuff. Yeah. So when you, you'd hear about it, mm. so you always seem like the was big, he sponsored? I'm not too sure if he was sponsored, yeah. but he was like the big deal. So you're like, oh, you're going to these Hoffman, yeah, Matt Hoffman contests, yeah. you know. So you'd be like, oh, you know, he's doing. That. I think he got like a second or third place in one of them, and then, so that 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 was cool. So was he was he sort of semi professional? Or pro? He, he I think. He was semi-professional, yeah. I think. But he, he won some pro contests in England as well. Mm. So that was good. But um, really, because what I mean, I remember walking past the skate park and there was a King of Concrete going on. And that's when I first see BMX. Was, yeah. It was Stuart King, actually. He was doing a massive air on, on the half pipe. 
I was like, that's, I want to do that one day. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, what was your first yeah. bike? What did you have? I had a, it's called a professional. It's from Superbikes in Ilford. Yeah. It was, uh, what? no one knows. Professional? No, it's like going to Toys R Us now, probably, <laughs> you know what I mean, and getting something like that. And then I had a dyno. A dyno. Well, that dino. Was, that's quite a big jump, wasn't it? A, a, a professional. I've never had that in my life. No, I, no. To a dyno. Dyno, but I, I did actually want the Haro So But even dynos are quite rare. That wasn't a, quite a mass-produced bike, was it a dyno? No, it was a dyno comp, to be honest with you. So I think was it, it may have been... A racer, it may have been low-end, to be honest with you. Really? Jesus Christ. But I don't, I don't know. I've never had low-end, mate. No, <laughs> I know. It's the only low-end I've ever done. But it got the job done. <laughs> So I wanted the Haro, because I got, I got twin brother as well. Yeah. So my parents had like two bikes. He was into it as well. Right. So imagine we're going to the bike shop. I want the Haro Sport. Yeah. And he wants the Haro Master. Yeah. So my dad's thinking, hold on. So when, which, when you, when you first, obviously, because yeah. you know I was a legend down there. Yeah, yeah, you are, yeah. Right. <laughs> so did you, when you, when you went down, was, did you sort of know about the old school BMXs down there? Like when you first started, was there sort of, because I remember going up down there years ago, and well, when I when I met you down yeah. there in the cafe, there's a little canteen. Yeah. There was a little picture yeah. on the wall of me jumping at the bowl. Did you ever see that? No, I haven't seen no. I haven't seen, you it. seen it. No, I, I could I, believe I, it. It I, was like uh, Kevin Ranscombe, the guy. I know who, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Kevin. Well, when, when yeah. we were, I was 14. Kev was about 15. Yeah. There was a picture of me and Kev jumping out the, the snake bowl together. Yeah. Right. I'm doing like a like a, a spastic look back like that, <laughs> and Kev's doing a spastic look back that way. Yeah, yeah. okay. But that was so that black and white pic on the cafe. still there somewhere. It's probably, I guess it is still there. Yeah, I'll have a look. Yeah, fucking definitely naked for me. I'll have it for you. I'll bang on Instagram. I'll bang on Instagram. It's worth millions. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you do, you, you, you learn stuff. As you you go yeah. there, then, then you start learning about yeah. who used to be there. Like, you know, especially like, I remember that picture of Craig Campbell would have been in, in the keel. When he, yeah. I think he was doing a foot, foot plant right on the top of the... Yeah, I don't know, wall ride slash. Exactly, he used to love the foot plant. Foot plant, yeah. You know, and then obviously I then I learned about that you and yeah. and everyone else that that would yeah. go there, and obviously yeah. you know, it was the best. Was, it was the best years of my life. You know, yeah. from from twelve years old, I used to I used to just uh, literally bunk off school most days and practice on my bike all the time, constantly, constantly, constantly. And uh, you know, and the people who are down there, all the kids down there, we used to, John John Thurston, yeah. would be, he would because he never used to. T- he was like our stepfather. He used to look after us and you know give us. M- when microwaves first came out, he used to have the, one of the first microwaves. So we used to have microwave bloody pizzas in the winter, or uh, or chicken pies. But no, John Thurston. I'd have one of them now, to be honest. That's yeah, yeah. Been a bit peckish, but. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's it's changed over the years there so much though. It's funny because I think I probably same with you as well. But I've been around it so long, mm. from that well ninety four mm. till no, I don't get it that much now. Mm. But up to a few years, I'd see so many changing, and I guess I've lived through a few eras mm. of the sport. So I've been in it so and long. So what, what so, was what was your best era? So when, when so you, when did you start getting good and what, what was the first competition you went into and won or came second or third or whatever? So I start I guess the two thousands beginning of two thousands mm. were you sort of finished school, yeah. but you I mean when I finished school I didn't think I'd be do, I'd gone into doing that as a job. Mm. You know I was like oh, should I do graphic design, you know there were so many possibilities. Yeah. Um, and it was only when we we flew to the states I realised how how much better I was than Americans. Because everyone's always like, oh, Americans Seriously? are the best. Yeah, I mean, from, from my age as yeah. well. And um, obviously I've done a few contests back here, the King of Concrete, mm. the South Sea, maybe like done a, a bike show. So in, in your uh, era were yeah. um, Simon Tablon, was he your age group? No, Simon's older, so Simon's like in his 40s. So he wasn't riding when he was at... Not, he, Simon is what he was. He was still riding up to recently, wasn't he? And Jay Bestwick. They're still riding. I mean, I mean only because Simon's got an injury right so now. So did you compete back, with them? I've competed against Simon. What, and beat them? Did you ever beat them? I'd only ever beat Simon if he would have crashed, or right. Bestwick if he would have right. crashed, which never really happens. But they were... So, so you had, yeah, so Simon Tabron, Jamie Bestwick, Dave Mira. I don't know. Hoffman probably already kind of retired by the yeah. time I was kind of going to the States, but was around. But still, you never think, you look up to these guys. Growing mm. up, you're like, oh, Dave Miller. 
Exactly. And then before you know it, the more and more contests you're going to, you end up sitting on a ramp yeah. next to yeah. Dave. So you've gone from him being kind of like, I guess, your hero, to thinking, mm. okay, here we go. We're in the same qualifying group <laughs> together. You know, like, and you're like, yeah. you know, I remember in Estonia, you know, we, we, was the gap quite big though between the, you know Dave Mira and yourself or Dave Mira and it, Beswick? It, it was it was th that gap. The other guys like you know the first one I did in, in the US first contest was in uh, Denver, so I was at the Pepsi Center and I flew there on my own. Mm. And Were I you never sponsored or not? I think I was yeah I was I guess maybe by Fox and a, and a few others, but I sent myself there. Did it all and then got there, and that was the first one where you could kind of see where you was at with the other guys. And I got fourteenth, I think, at that, mm. which was pretty good because all these guys you you'd known. So you actually you was, you was in the finals. You made finals of a, yeah. a top U, at the time top US contest. So that's pretty good, and and that's that's when obviously Vans. I got to meet all them guys, and then I went on Vans after that. What sponsored? So sponsored factory, by, factory by, factory by yeah US. Yeah. Everything was US really for me. Yeah. So I wasn't really too fussed about. Yeah. And how, so how many years stuff. did you spend in America? 13, 14. 13 years. 13, 14 years. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? So I spent a lot of time there. But yeah, I mean, them guys, yeah, before they become your friends. Yeah. It's strange because you don't, you know, you, then you don't look at them as. Uh, Dave's always looked at as. Yeah. Uh, and they've all know, stayed, most of them have all stayed in the sport, haven't they? They're all, they're all linked to it in some way or not. 95% of the guys yeah. are still linked. Or you're going to yeah. see them somewhere where you yeah. go. There's only a few that are kind of like, right, yeah. I'm done. Like Jay Miron. Yeah. You know, he's got his own carpentry business and stuff like that now. But he does that, you know. Um, so you won't even see him. You know, Have any, you know, has any of them got their own sort of bike companies? Obviously Hoffman Bikes. and Did Hoff any of them else go into that kind of stuff? Hoffman, thing? Dave Mira did Miraco. That's a good guy. I've got to think about it. <laughs> Carlo had his own. Carlo had what his own. What was he? Fly his bikes. Proper, 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 proper bikes. bikes. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a few people that started yeah. their own companies, you yeah. know. But then obviously Haro was always kind of been the biggest. Exactly. And that's, that's did, you, did, did you meet Bob Haro a lot growing up or not? Not growing up, but in, in later years, yeah. I've met him. You know, you know, sort of sat down at dinners with him, talks with him and stuff, which is pretty cool. Very you know, cool. You, you never think you're going to meet them guys. So Bob, Bob Harrow was sort of the legend when we were growing up. You know, he, he was the one who sort of did, he, did ET, didn't he? So he did his, I thought, yeah. I've talked about that before. When I got into BMX through ET, yeah. and Bob Harrow was one of the boys on the bikes who flew in the sky with ET. Past the thing, yeah. So, so well, he, he kind of realistically started... He started it. He started freestyle, I guess. Exactly. You know? And every... Yeah. every magazine what came out had Bob Harrow or if he was on GMTV for 30 seconds you used to get up in the morning and you'd record it a big VHS tape <laughs> and just watch it and watch this how did what's his brake pads what what was on his bike yeah. what's his, how does he put his studs on his seat or the grip tape on his you know on his uh, frame same with you bet though when say uh, that with, you bet with Carlo sure. Carlo was on it and e frame was on it so for me what sitting at home yeah and see yeah. you know Carlo and do you, you're the highest air. I did. What did I do? I've done a coup, two TV programs. I did a program called Splash. It was an ITV program in yeah. 1986 to about 1988. And it was like a kids' program, sort of five o'clock in the afternoon. And it's a bit, little bit like Blue Peter. And um, they got me in, and it was the year the Sinclair C5 was launched. So it's probably 1980, it's probably before that, 1984. So it's 1984? It's 1984. Yeah, I think that was, yeah. And um, I was in the studio doing all these bloody hot backs and bunny hops and all this kind of stuff. So I did that and then... That was the year I was born. Was it? Yeah. The year I was there, mate. And then I did a Doritos. Yeah. This is a quite a big one. <laughs> <laughs> this is big. I would love to find this. We're going to find it. We're fine. I've, got to I've hunted high and low. We're we'll called Doritos. See if they call them, because yeah. I would love to see it. <laughs> so it was done in L Street Studios, so where they do all Star Wars. 
and the set was a New York street scene. That, you know, massive, huge hangers, and it was like a, it was like a street scene of New York. And I played like an American kid on a BMX riding through the streets of New yeah. York. And there was taxis and there was actors and dancers. And the, the effect was on the side of this block, this uh, uh, block of apartments, yeah. there was a picture of a Dorito pan crisps. And we all had to look up. I was on my bike. I had to do a skid, like a 360 skid. Look up at this boom camera. And the boom camera was coming down. And I had to go... You know, because yeah. this, this, there's a special effect. This, this old Doritos is going to be changed into a new pack, and that was it. It was three days of filming for that. I think I got paid about a grand. Did you find it hard doing the well without it actually happening? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because sometimes that stuff's tough. You know, it's like there's nothing in. You're like exactly. I just, yeah. And uh, there was there was like a, a like a horse and a, a policeman on a horse, and you know, it was just it was yeah. an experience. Yeah. It's cool, dude. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Actually, Doritos is Dorito. That was a that was a huge, huge thing. Craig didn't want to do it. No, actually, Craig was in America at the time, so he yeah. couldn't do it. So I, I did it instead. Yeah. But um, but I think Craig's done ski yogurts. Obviously, did what was a what was that old BMX show years ago on TV? With it was like it's Channel Four, BMX Beat or something. BMX Beat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is that Stott? That one's a Stott. <laughs> yeah, BMX Beat, and that was a that was a brilliant program. That wasn't yeah. it. Well, I've never seen it. But I've heard a lot about. You've it. never seen it. Yeah, I've never. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! You haven't lived, mate. <laughs> no, I know. A lot of people have said about it, and they want like, oh, why don't you bring it back? I'm like, what? what you... Eddie sort of Fiola, thing. Mike Dominguez. Yeah. C- Craig, you know what's the one with the stumpy leg? Uh, Glenn, <laughs> what's his fucking name? Good. Oh. Is he American, American? No, an English guy. He was he was one of the pros in the, in the eighties, and he, he was like he's very small. He had one leg short than the other, so you can imagine <laughs> when he used to pedal, it's like a bit awkward. <laughs> oh dear, oh. yeah, Glenn, and obviously of Neil Ruffles there as well. But they were the best years of my life, mate. Honestly, I don't yeah. know when when you're in that. Yeah, because you're free. But it, but it keep, it teaches you discipline. It does. And, it te- and, it, and if you and if you can be the best on your bike, you yeah. can be the best at anything.